as you can see, I've cut it out with the bandsaw first, uh, out of a thin piece of wood. And I like to use basswood because it's not only soft, it's uh, very dense fiber and it holds detail really well, such as uh, eyes, eyelashes, hair, that type of thing. Uh, once we get it cut out, then uh, we're going to trace our pattern on there. And everywhere you see lines, we're going to go across with a particular tool called a V-groove. And it's a real small V-shaped tool that cuts uh, a 90 degree uh, wedge. Now then, we're going to take our knife and we're going to uh, simply go straight down in the bottom of that little V-notch. And that way, whenever we start giving it relief, we're going to have some place to go. So we go over and do all of our lines that way. Next, we're ready to start on the face. Your nose is always in the center between the bottom of your chin and your forehead. Halfway between your nose and the bottom of your chin is your mouth. And halfway between your nose and the top of your forehead is your eyes. So that's what these three little marks already are in here are for. We have the eyes, our nose, and our mouth. Now we're going to start by cutting out some eye sockets and that way Santa Claus will be able to see. So we're going to take a real small gouge which is a rounded a rounded shaped tool just like this. Sometimes they're more round, sometimes they're less, but they're all called gouges. And we're just going to start cutting out some eye sockets for Santa. Now as we cut it out you'll see eye sockets develop and in a very short time, you will also see a nose start to develop. You always work from the inside out. Now, I prefer to carve in a style called caricature. And basically what that means is I carve in a cartoon form. Okay? Now, I do that for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's what sells best, with Santa Clauses especially. And number two, if you make a mistake, it's easy to cover up. If you're trying to do life -like or lifelike face and make a mistake, you're not going to cover it up very well. But if you are doing caricature, a lot of times it's a lot easier to cover it up if you make a mistake. I want the waist of his coat sticking over his pant legs. So whatever I want closest to me or sticking out the feathers, I, w I do not want to back cut that area. I want to back cut in under that. And that way that would give that some relief and look, it'll look like it's coming out. For example, the coattail coming out over the pant legs, the pant cuffs right here are over the pants. Uh, right here is a cuff on the sleeve. I want to make sure it is sticking out further than the sleeve, so I do my back cut on the sleeve side, not on the cuff side. 